In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Grant, we beseech the Almighty God, that we may now in spirit follow our Lord along the way of sorrows, and, seeing his sufferings, may be so filled with contrition and repentance, and increased in true faith and love, that we may, through thy grace, obtain the remission of all our sins, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God forbid that I should glory. Let us pray. Almighty God, we beseech thee graciously to behold this thy family, for which our Lord Jesus Christ was contented to be betrayed and given up into the hands of wicked men and to suffer death upon the cross who now liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. Let us go forth. At the cross her station keeping, stood the mournful mother weeping, close to Jesus at the last. Through her soul of joy be revered, bowed with anguish deeply grieved. Now at length the sword hath passed. Jesus prays in the Garden of Gethsemane. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Then cometh Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane, and saith unto the disciples, Sit ye here, while I go and pray yonder. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Then saith he unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here, and watch with me. And he went a little farther, and fell on his face, and prayed, saying, O my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. And he cometh unto the disciples, and findeth them asleep, and saith unto Peter, What, could you not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray, that ye enter not into temptation. The Spirit indeed is willing but the flesh is weak. Surely he hath borne our griefs. Let us pray. We beseech thee, O Lord, pour thy grace into our hearts, that, as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion we may be brought unto the glory of his resurrection through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Let me mourn, O Lord, beside thee for the sins which crucified thee while my life remains in me. Jesus is betrayed by Judas and arrested. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. And immediately, while he yet spake, cometh Judas, one of the twelve, and with him a great multitude with swords and staves from the chief priests and the scribes and the elders. And he that betrayed him had given them a token, saying, Whomsoever I shall kiss, that same is he. 
take him and lead him away safely. And as soon as he was come, he goeth straightway to him, and saith, Master, Master, and kissed him. And they laid their hands on him and took him. But as for me, I am a worm and no man. Let us pray. O God, who knowest us to be set in the midst of so many and great dangers, that by reason of the frailty of our nature, we cannot always stand upright. Grant to us such strength and protection as may support us in all dangers and carry us through all temptations through Jesus Christ, our Lord. True repentance, Jesus, win me. Save your print, thy wounds within me. Brand them on my stubborn heart. Jesus is condemned by the Sanhedrin. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. And as soon as it was day, the elders of the people and the chief priests and the scribes came together and led him into their council, saying, Art thou the Christ? Tell us. And he said unto them, If I tell you, ye will not believe. And if I also ask you, ye will not answer me, nor let me go. Hereafter shall the Son of Man sit on the right hand of the power of God. Then said they all, Art thou then the Son of God? And he said unto them, Ye say that I am. And they said, What need we any further witness? For we ourselves have heard of his own mouth. He was led like a sheep to the slaughter. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who hatest nothing that thou hast made, and dost forgive the sins of all those who are penitent, create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain of thee, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness through Jesus Christ, our Lord. May my heart fresh ardor gaining and a purer love attaining, may with the acceptance find Jesus is denied by St. Peter. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Now Peter sat without in the palace, and a damsel came unto him, saying, Thou also wast with Jesus of Galilee. But he denied before them all, saying, I know not what thou sayest. And when he was gone out into the porch, another maid saw him and said unto them that were there, This fellow was also with Jesus of Nazareth. And again he denied with an oath, I do not know the man. And after a while came unto him they that stood by and said to Peter, Surely thou also art one of them, for thy speech betrayeth thee. Then began he to curse and to swear, saying, I know not the man. And immediately the cock crew, and Peter remembered the word of Jesus, which said unto him, Before the cock crow thou shalt deny me thrice. And he went out and wept bitterly. Turn us again, O Lord God of hosts. Let us pray. 
keep, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy church with thy perpetual mercy. And because the frailty of man without thee cannot but fall, keep us ever by thy help from all things hurtful, and lead us to all things profitable to our salvation, through Jesus Christ our Lord. So him then from judgment taken, and in death by all forsaken, till his spirit he resign. Jesus is judged by Pontius Pilate. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. And straightway in the morning, the chief priests held a consultation with the elders and scribes and the whole council, and bound Jesus and carried him away, and delivered him to Pilate. And Pilate asked him, Art thou the king of the Jews? And he answering said unto them, Thou sayest it. And the chief priests accused him of many things, but he answered nothing. And Pilate asked him again, saying, Answerest thou nothing? Behold, how many things they witness against thee. But Jesus yet answered nothing, so that Pilate marveled. And so Pilate, willing to content the people, released Barabbas unto them, and delivered Jesus when he had scourged him to be crucified. God spared not his own Son. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech thee, Almighty God, that we who for our evil deeds do worthily deserve to be punished, by the comfort of thy grace, may mercifully be relieved through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let my soul thy death declaring, thy unsparing passion sharing. Count thy bruises one by one. Jesus is scourged at the pillar and crowned with thorns. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Then Pilate therefore took Jesus and scourged him, and the soldiers plaited a crown of thorns and put it on his head, and they put on him a purple robe and said, Hail, King of the Jews, and they smote him with their hands. Her tears are on her cheeks. Let us pray. O Lord God, whose blessed Son, our Savior, gave his back to the smiters and hid not his face from shame, grant us grace to take joyfully the sufferings of the present time in full assurance of the glory that shall be revealed through the same thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. For his people's sins chastised, she beheld her son despised, scourged and crowned with thorns entwined. Jesus bears the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. When the chief priests, therefore, and officers saw him, they cried out, saying, Crucify him, crucify him. Pilate saith unto them, Take ye him, and crucify him, for I find no fault in him. But they cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate saith unto them, Shall I crucify your king? 
the chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then delivered he him therefore unto them to be crucified. And they took Jesus and led him away. And he, bearing his cross, went forth into a place called the place of a skull, which is called in the Hebrew Golgotha. The Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace, through the same thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Take beneath the cross my station, and in all thy desolation, so unite myself with thee. Jesus is helped by Simon the Cyrenian to carry the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. And they compel one, Simon, a Cyrenian, who passed by, coming out of the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to bear his cross. Whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me. Let us pray. O God, whose blessed Son did overcome death for our salvation, mercifully grant that we who have his glorious passion in remembrance may take up our cross daily and follow him through the same thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. As thou brought through tribulation in thy passion my salvation, let me bear therein my part. Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. And there followed him a great company of people and of women, which also bewailed and lamented him. But Jesus, turning, said unto them, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold, the days are coming in the which they shall say, Blessed are the barren, and the wombs that never bear, and the paps which never gave suck. Then shall they begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, Cover us. For if they do these things in a green tree, what shall be done in the dry? They that sow in tears, Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who of thy tender love towards mankind has sent thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross, that all mankind should follow the example of his great humility. Mercifully grant that we may both follow the example of his patience and also be made partakers of his resurrection through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Jesus, great beyond all other, turn not from me, heavenly brother. 
let me to be well thy pain. Jesus is crucified. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. And when they were come to the place, which is called Calvary, there they crucified him and the malefactors, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. I, if I be lifted up, let us pray. O God, who by the passion of thy blessed Son hast made the instrument of shameful death to be unto us the means of life and peace, grant us so to glory in the cross of Christ that we may gladly suffer shame and loss for the sake of the same thy Son, our Lord. Let thy stripes and scouring smite me, and thy holy cross requite me. Let thy blood refresh me there. Jesus promises his kingdom to the good thief. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. And one of the malefactors which were hanged railed on him, saying, If thou be the Christ, save us and thyself. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Dost not thou fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds, but this man hath done nothing amiss. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. They gave me gall to eat. Let us pray. O God, who before the passion of thine only begotten Son didst reveal his glory upon the holy mount, grant unto us, thy servants, that in faith, beholding the light of his countenance, we may be strengthened to bear the cross and be changed into his likeness from glory to glory through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. May his wounds both wound and heal me, he and kindle, cleanse and heal me. Be his cross my hope and stay. May he, when the mountains quiver, from that flame which burns forever, shield me on the judgment day. Jesus speaks to his mother and the beloved disciple. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Now there stood by the cross of Jesus, his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleophas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciple standing by whom he loved, he saith unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Then saith he to the disciple, Behold thy mother. And from that hour that disciple took her unto his own home.
a sword shall pierce through thine own soul also. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech thee, merciful Lord, to thy faithful people, pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve thee with a quiet mind through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Who on Christ, dear mother, gazing in her trouble so amazing, born of woman would not weep. Who on Christ, dear mother, thinking such a cup of sorrow drinking, would not share her sorrows deep. Jesus dies on the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. And it was about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over all the earth unto the ninth hour. And the sun was darkened, and the veil of the temple was rent in the midst. And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And having said thus, he gave up the ghost. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Christ, for our sake, became obedient unto death. Let us pray. O God, who for our redemption didst give thine only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection hast delivered us from the power of our enemy, grant us so to die daily from sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his resurrection, through the same thy Son, Christ our Lord. For his people's sins in anguish, there she saw the victim languish, bleed in torments, bleed and die. Jesus is placed in the tomb. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. When the even was come, there came a rich man of Arimathea called Joseph, who also himself was Jesus' disciple. He went to Pilate and begged the body of Jesus. Then Pilate commanded the body to be delivered. And when Joseph had taken the body, he wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn out in the rock. And he rolled a great stone to the door of the sepulchre and departed. Thou shalt not leave my soul in hell. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that as we are baptized into the death of thy blessed Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, so by continual mortifying our corrupt affections, we may be buried with him, and that through the grave and gate of death, we may pass to our joyful resurrection, for his merits who died and was buried, 
and rose again for us, the same thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus, may thy cross defend me, and thy saving death befriend me, cherished by thy deathless grace. When to dust my dust returneth, grant a soul that to thee yearneth in thy paradise a place. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried, he descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Christ became obedient unto death. O Savior of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood hast redeemed the world, let us pray. Almighty Father, who has given thine only Son to die for our sins and to rise again for our justification, Grant us so to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness, that we may always serve thee in pureness of living and truth, through the merits of the same, thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be with us all evermore. Amen.